How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Down the Rabbit Hole. The entire crew is here. Brad probably has a smart-ass comment as to why we weren't recording for the past couple weeks, but whatever. So for this episode, we have watched Haikyuu, which just happens to be one of Chibi's favorite anime. And I want to start with Chibi so that she can kind of set the tone for us, and then we'll probably go around and ask how everyone liked it, or how everyone felt about it, rather, and then afterwards we'll ask chibi some questions <laughs> heck yeah <Go> <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> why chibi um yeah so i personally i don't even know how i got into like starting watching it um i just want to preface and say i'm not a sports person at all when it comes to like anime like i haven't watched blue lock anything like that um so when i watched haikyuu i was just like what is this volleyball crap that everyone's raving about because i think i started watching it when it first uh when it first aired what in 2014 ish I think... um if you want to fact check me yes 2014 yeah because i remember i was in high school um i think for me personally i just really resonate a lot with the main character uh you know always been the been the shrimp and the chibi been the small person uh especially when it comes to sports like i played a lot of baseball growing up shut up i see you laughing over there Jack. so i really resonated with his struggle to want to be the best prove himself and then like you know uh when he's faced with just this this essential wall he has to overcome somehow you know despite his quote-unquote shortcomings this was not a short joke but it, it was very inspiring to to watch and then i've always been one that likes a good underdog story so uh, as it progressed i really enjoyed haikyuu more and more so i know we only watched really the first 12 episodes so kind of going on that i would love to kind of hear your guys's like first impressions because i'm sure this is everyone's first time watching it i know it wasn't everyone's first choice either but i would love your transparency and insight uh to to what you thought so who wants to take it away first I, I can go. It was very eloquently put, by the way. I just want to say that. Yeah, that, yeah. That, yeah. Oh, very, thank you. that was good. So I, I've been so practicing the, at work. Thank you. <laughs> From a sports lens, I can also relate being a shorty. And I, <laughs> I played I played baseball. I played basketball. Um, and being the short guy, you know, it, it wasn't always the easiest. Like, standing at the plate in baseball, I got walked a lot because I had oh, a small yeah, ass the small zone. strike zone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, boy, I feel that one. And then for basketball, I surprisingly played uh, point guard, which um, I don't know how that I did it because... That actually checks out <laughs> as, a, as a point guard. That's like, the, <laughs> your height would literally equate to the one at all times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, you, you wouldn't see me shoot much because the moment I put the ball up in the air, it gets slapped down. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I liked... I'm not I I didn't hate it. It's mm -hmm. it's definitely not my type, my style. Yeah. Um but I, I did enjoy the the banter between um Hinata and Kageyama. Um and then, then the 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 friendship that they never really acknowledged. Yeah. That they that you know that grew between them. Um and, and the trust that uh Kageyama had to get from Hinata while also mm -hmm. battling his own demons, you know, because mm -hmm. he was, he was known as the King, but not in the way that everybody that, that Hinata thought. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it was good for the most part. It's, I, I didn't hate it. <laughs> Did you have like any expectations going in? Cause I, you know, what have you heard about it before watching it? <laughs> I haven't heard much about it. Like, like always, I, I don't yeah. know shit about anything before I watch it. We are well <laughs> a fucking where, man. You know what I mean? Hey, I like to ask. I like to double check. Me, like me and Brad have reasons. talked about that, by the way. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, I, I like going into these things as a complete fucking idiot. No, and, I was going to uh, say and uh, accomplished. No, no. yeah <laughs> congratulations I mean, it, works out, it works out well because i learned a lot of new things in the process but uh um I, it's it's coming into it i didn't really have any any expectations i i figured all right sports it's gonna mm -hmm. be wholesome in in some way mm -hmm. um it's not gonna have action or you know the, the shit that i'm normally used to watching and, and favoring I would say, in, <laughs> I would say, in comparison to some sports anime, this is probably more wholesome than most. Yeah, than others. Yeah, dude, there was a. Sorry to cut you off. I just thought about when oh, Jack yeah. said there's not a lot of like, or there, you know, compared to what he's used to, a lot of action. There was like a comment on one of my videos, right? Because I did like a, I don't know, like a high key video or something, and someone goes, "I can't believe Dachi dies, bro." <laughs> and 
everybody in the comments were like, what? Like, did you just spoil <laughs> something for me? They were like, because it's, it's an ongoing joke because there's a scene where like, Dachi like hits the ground in one of the later seasons and like everyone's like oh my god so it was like a meme for a long time that he died um so everybody in the comments were like did you just spoil like how does somebody die in a volleyball anime yeah, <laughs> it you'd was be, so funny you'd be su- i mean you'd be surprised about how <laughs> the links they go to yeah <laughs> yeah i, I, I was say- like oh shit I would say Hinato to me was a, a slightly bit calmer version of Asta. I mean, that was, it was it was actually kind of at the me. same time where they they created like protagonists that kind of it's kind of weird. Like a lot of shonen protagonists, they technically they'll have like certain attributes and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, and with Asta, it was like you know screaming, rambunctious, loud, energetic, but very serious at the same time. And Hinata was kind of the same way. Brad, do you want to go to Nick Suck Your Mind less, man? Go ahead. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm and ready. Before, and Brad, before you even dive into like a logic break, let me get my stuff first, and then we'll go back to you, okay? <laughs> then we'll go back to your logic break. Okay, so um, note, number, <laughs> note number one. <laughs> no. like guy. Um, I mean, it, yeah, it was. It, it's a wholesome show. I expected it to be overly dramatic, and I was pretty right. Prepared. <laughs> I was unprepared for the dramaticness of this of the show. Like the the whole the whole Ace backstory, the Asai or whatever his name is. I don't. I'm, I'm gonna butcher everyone's name. No, Asai. Yeah. Uh, Asahi, like the beard. The, the, guy, the guy with the main yeah, like bun. A... Um, <laughs> Our yeah. king. That that guy. That guy's got some anxiety issues. Um, he's like, he he lost a match and was just like, I'm noping out of here forever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm a little bit on, on my take on that one. That man just throws up the two suits. He's like, I'm out, <laughs> <Seven>. motherfuckers. <laughs> He's like, I got beat and I can't handle it. Um, I failed everyone in life. But I I mean the 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 dynamic duo, you know, the short weak guy becomes, you know, the the popular one and the the dark haired sidekick, but is actually the stronger one. Um a little Batman Robin dynamic. <laughs> yeah, 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 but like in reverse, I mean I, little, Naruto, little Shrek I mean, donkey, you know. <laughs> yeah. For real. I mean Naruto Black Clover, it, like the color scheme is very consistent, right? It's it's like colorful and dark, and one's yeah. shorter and one's taller. Yeah, it's like the and opposite. One's 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 strong willed and one's just strong. Mm-hmm. You know, it's yin and that. yang, like, brother. You know what I mean? <laughs> brother. They just yin fit. And contrast. But they're two puzzle pieces, right? And they've come together. <laughs> Um, but uh, logically, I, I just don't. I don't understand why everyone freaks out about like like volleyball. Like, why is it volleyball? Like ping pong, at least. Come on, I mean, have it make it an exciting sport. Uh, <laughs> that would be I think there is. I think there is a ping pong anime. By the way, that would be. That would be interesting. I wouldn't be surprised. That makes sense. Um, I mean, it, I mean, logically. It seems very technical as far as volleyball goes, so I can't I can't really fault them for that. Oh, you're actually um, you learning stuff. Yeah, if I you've mean, never I, played volleyball before, I was gonna I, say I learned a lot. I actually. watched I watched a lot in high school, just you know attending sporting. Oh, oh yeah, what uh what volleyball were you watching, buddy? Men's or women's? Volleyball? My my high school. No, no, I <laughs> said <laughs> men's or women's volleyball. Oh, women's volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> you, I bet you were He's paying lying. attention. He was watching Top Gun. I bet you, I bet you were paying attention. He's like shorts. In that's... <laughs> <laughs> you talk from experience, Ken. Dude, I dated a girl yeah. played volleyball, so yeah. Um, I mean, just over, just except the just dramaticness of of everything. It's just. I like absurd, but like this was absurd for no reason. <laughs> They're high schoolers. Let's, this, let's get like let's, I was saying earlier. Sorry, this get, is the worst thing that would have happened to them. You know, like, Brad, everything's dramatic. Brad, let's get back to the logic breaks. So me, I'll go. I'll, I'm okay. pretty sure you're done. Yeah, I'll go. We'll go back to you. All right. Well, uh, okay. Well, well, one more thing. <laughs> one, one more thing. So I actually watched one more. E- I actually watched episode thirteen as well because episode twelve just kind of ends in the middle of a practice match. One. They, they have yet to play an actual match, right? They have yet <laughs> to actually play a team for real yet. Um, that's that's my number one thing. Um, and, and two, Backstory, baby. You don't really see anything outside of them. I, I mean, I understand it's a volleyball anime, so it's going to focus on the volleyball. But, like, there is nothing outside of that. Like, you see very few, like, very small bits of the school stuff or the family stuff, but 
it is specifically I, just yeah, that. there's no relationship building I, outside well, of i mean that's volleyball. a good question we can ask you but does that does that change throughout the seasons does it actually do like more of a personal dynamic or is um, it just like strictly in between like you know the net you know what i'm talking about <laughs> yeah i was gonna say somebody can correct me in the comments if so because it's been a while since i've watched it um uh, but to my knowledge it's pretty consistent with just staying like in the court i mean those relationships kind of expand like teammates wise and then like you know kurasano kurasano with like another um school that dynamic but like you never really see the sorry and delivery thank you you never really <laughs> see like the the family aspect i mean there's like one part where you see nata's like sister at one point but it, it's mostly in the net in the school between schools things like that okay i mean i i think like i was i wouldn't know this it came out 2014 so i was 26 when this came out and so i was past all that you know like i when I watch like sports stuff like Hajino, Hajime no Ippo, right? The boxing mm -hmm, anime, mm -hmm. which is like ongoing. It's fantastic. That's like great mm -hmm. drama. Um, but when it came to like this, like when I heard about Haikyuu, I was like kind of past the point where I wanted to watch any type of coming of age drama or, you know, and um, I can see why it's popular, right? I think everything is pretty much well done. Everything is, there's, there's no, I mean, there's a lot of tropes that it follows, like in terms of like how the characters are set up, the dynamics and things mm -hmm. like that, right? composition of the team but for the most part it's like if there's you know the real standout stuff is kind of like you know the way they the technical the, how technical it is when it comes to volleyball and and i assume it's popular because after living in japan like volleyball is very popular in japan mm -hmm. sports clubs are huge mm -hmm. and clubs in general so that's why you see them in like ton, in the slice of life anime all that stuff if you've ever been in japan live there ever been to a school you know that type of stuff like it just kind of stepped out you'll see like people are really committed to this type of stuff and like chibi was trying to say mm -hmm. like you know it's high school this is the most important thing for them it's just that like there's no other dynamic to it outside of like the team aspect right and there's like a story of retribution for the school and like building a new team and that's interesting but like i think that specifically this anime is like if you don't connect with it at all you're probably not going to like be too interested yeah. in a lot of the melodrama and that's essentially what it was for me like mm -hmm. i agree with brad and this is some you know and me and brad actually do agree in a lot of like anime we watch like the melodrama in this was like it felt like just a little bit too much <laughs> at times to the point mm -hmm. where it got humorous like and even like daichi that like, you know because he's team captain mm -hmm. him giving the ace asahi like trouble like shit for it like you're still really dramatic you know <laughs> like yeah. like him admitting yeah. that was great to, to at least him being aware Mm -hmm. but it felt like it just kind of like it in at least in the first 12 episodes like that was like the real hook like we were trying to see the team get built up i love the fact that hanada is like you know this uber talented kid everyone acknowledges it they don't go an episode without acknowledging how talented the two are like they constantly talk about it and you can kind of see like there's a dynamic where you know individuals are a little bit too friendly about it like they're not I, you would expect like in these instances if you've played sports like i played basketball and football like there's going to be jealousy when freshmen yeah, come up mm -hmm. right and seen and like if i'm a senior and i see two freshmen who are just more talented than me there's going to be jealousy if those two guys make the team and that's basically kind of you know one of the things i was really mm -hmm. hoping for like you know there there was kind of a, a little bit part of it when they were in that practice match and they're like yeah like like let's get the the two upperclassmen on the other team to kind of showcase how skilled they are still but it always mm -hmm. felt like everything was so respectful and i'm like I don't know if maybe you that's got... just the culture thing. I don't know. Sometimes I've we played. Mm -hmm. I, I've been to like baseball games where our our school in Yokosuka played one of the local schools. Baseball is a little bit different, and that though. is not how that fucking worked, man. Mm -hmm. Some of these they they are super competitive. Same thing with like volleyball too. We'd have like open mm -hmm. scrimmages, mm -hmm. and like it was it was. I mean, they're respectful, but it's like still very competitive. And um, I feel like at the time, you know, being twenty six, like I was not gonna go back and watch this. But mm -hmm. I can see the appeal. I can see why you liked it because you were in high school when it happened. Mm -hmm. But I just think I was just out of that age group. That's fair. That it was intended for. Yeah, because like you said, it's like more of like a coming of age thing. Yeah. So and there's and there's nothing wrong with that, right? Like the but like once again, it's kind of like the the perfect example of having, um, you know, it, it being kind of a really youth like really young anime. Like this one's like with shonen, right? When you have like battle anime and stuff like that. You, like anyone can really watch it because the action's like the real hook when it comes to sports though it's kind of like if it's meant for teenagers then it's yeah. really catered toward teenagers 
right? Blue Lock is kind of an exception because Blue Lock is fucking like more like a psychological thriller. If anyone's <laughs> watched that, mm-hmm. it is fucked up. That's a fucked up anime. Like the way they work that is completely. I was gonna say up. I've heard really good things about it, but it's, I've never actually watched it. It's it's somewhat rep- like once again, sports anime kind of gets repetitive after a while. But I think like from what I've read about Haikyuu, like they don't try to like draw things out too far. No. You know what I mean? But like Blue Lock feels like because it goes from i think it's like a thousand participants to make the national team and mm-hmm. as they whittle them down it's like all these different like really torturous games i'm like well, is this the fucking squid games for soccer bro <laughs> like what? that's what i heard you're yeah, essentially yeah. ruining kids like like these kids live to like actually make the team and stuff like that and they have all these personal rankings and you have like sabotage mm-hmm. stuff and this is like the complete opposite this is like wholesome and most most sports anime is right but i think like it was kind of weird to not see any personal dynamics off the court, like them hanging out, doing stuff, like dealing with like school life. Like, are they all just fucking perfect straight A students with, you know, no love lives? Like, no, <laughs> like well, that it, one dude yeah. failed the entrance exam to the other school, so I'm well, assuming he's not the smartest guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, because like in in Japan, like the moment you get into like your third year, they're essentially prepping for exit exams and entrance yeah. exams to college. So like that's like their entire like thing. Um, I mean, I believe they'll, like, mention it. It's not just, like, yeah, they're 24-7 playing volleyball. But it's, like, they don't go into depth, you know? Like, there will be instances where they're, like, oh, the seniors, like, this is their last year. They can't play because of, you know, entrance exams. So, like, you'll see them less or things like that. I mean, it's it's implied and stated, but it doesn't do that, like, in-depth, you know, I, I, I would say in terms of like sports anime, it's also, you know, fairly formulaic in terms of like the underdog story. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like Rocky, um, Little Giants, that type of shit, right? Where it's like we all know that eventually in the end, either they're going to get a win or they're going to get close to it, right? There's mm-hmm. going to be heartbreak along the way, but like, you know, maybe they'll overcome something. And I think that's kind of like what you're seeing here. And it, and like, you know, like I said, living in Japan, I've seen it. I've been to I've been to those type of pep rallies. I've seen like how fucking dedicated schools are when it comes to sports. I've seen like big tournaments and stuff participating in a couple. Like it's very cool seeing it. And it's like, but like when you make an anime about it, my question is like, you lived it. Why do you want to watch it? <laughs> that type of deal. Right. But that's just my thoughts on it. Like, I think it's solid. I think like I can totally see the appeal. I think we all can GBU, especially because yeah. you can connect with it. Um, But I do want to know Brad's logic breaks, right? If you have any. So, Brad, do you have any regarding this show? Um, not re- once again. Like we've seen, like three practice matches. I can't. There's nothing. There's nothing really logical to break other than other than just their obsession with volleyball. Like it's, to me, like even like even I was I was obsessed with football, and like I didn't practice. You know, outside of football practice. Like I mean, I didn't go home and you know hit a tackling dummy for three hours uh <laughs> why really, that, that's that was the problem brad that's why you that didn't is, play at auburn <laughs> no no my oh. <laughs> my problem was i was 150 pounds at six two that was my problem that was your problem um, um really really the only thing that kind of hurt me is just like how bad um shoyo was like or like like just how bad it, he is he's just good at jumping oh it's and setting and really stuff fast. like that like like he like apparently he's been practicing for years i i get like he doesn't have like a team to practice with or you no, know talking he, about? he has, had the like, old moms and stuff like that <laughs> but, it's, but it's like he had no clue like what a bump was or like how to do any type of receiving I whatsoever nobody to help him like like even like ten episodes in, he learns to open his eyes when he's spiking. It's, it's like, he's dude, <laughs> dude, that's literally. It's funny you say that because in uh, Love Is War, the president, right? He learns how to like spike mm-hmm. because he hits himself a lot because he doesn't open his eyes when he's swinging oh at the ball. God. He looks the part, but does not have the actual talent <laughs> to do it. And here's the thing: that's kind of realistic sometimes. I mean, I, I when I played basketball, I had friends of mine who were like. You know, they wondered, like, what was wrong with their shot or something like that. I'm like, dude, one, you know, you were short. You're, like, 5'2". And then, two, you have, like, this really long wind-up motion. I'm like, that's why coach is not putting you in the game because your shit's going to get blocked every single time. You know what I mean? I've met people who couldn't dribble in basketball. Like, well, they could just, like, you know, only go one direction with one hand. I assume, like, in volleyball, to even make the team, it is kind of weird that, like, you know, I mean, you can make exceptions, though, right? If that person's, like, supposed to, you know. Yeah. Bacon, well, and, and, 
you know. Okay. Jump okay, fifty my, inches, like my, brother, my, like get, get mean, him, get him on the I mean, fucking basketball valid. team. I'd be grabbing that kid. That'd yeah. be a that be, that would be a better film, right? It's like you played volleyball. I, get that shit out of yeah. here, bro. <laughs> um, another thing is, I I don't feel like they value coaches. Like it's it's weird because they have like I historically mean, like how many coaches they've gone through. Oh, dude. Well, so there, so there's like there's like legendary like mythical coaches, and then there's like every team has a coach, but he's just on the sideline going, that guy's really good. It, <laughs> it's just it's it's weird how they like sports anime they, does do that a lot too. They, I mean. They, I, Hajime no Ippo like, doesn't like they actually value the managers and like the cut team and stuff like that. It's really funny because actually they really they really care about you know the sport of boxing, but like yeah with volleyball <laughs> it's like we got the convenience store guy you know <laughs> he's your new well, coach so, now. <laughs> so like so so in the Bro. in the junior in the junior high like flashback or the like the very beginning when they're when they're in the junior high tournament yeah and. Tobio is doing his his you know setting or whatever and like basically everyone shuns him because he's too good at setting right like the it's coach, too high the, <laughs> the, the coach the coach should literally be like yo you're not playing anymore get out of the game you're ruining it for everyone else like I don't understand there, there was no I, I, like if there was a coach there I, at all I, 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 I think know there was the, a coach there I think the home. injection of a coach would be like probably too much for the audience because they're trying to worry about the kids like that yeah. the teenager I mean, dynamic yeah. but it would be funny that co- hey are you fucking stupid <laughs> come here like, hey that was great Get but you shot it like 70 miles an hour that way which you almost, which, you almost killed two yeah, people yeah look at look at my little dummies over here which one do you what one of them <laughs> thinks they can catch that <laughs> I can do um, it, coach. <laughs> that yeah. one, it's that one kid. You guys, you guys ever watch a Not Another Teen movie? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Do you remember, do you remember that scene, Brad, where they're like they had that one dude who's like really skinny, and he's like they're like we're gonna get him out there, you're gonna get the, you're gonna catch the ball, and he catches and gets like hit and ripped in half and, and stuff like half. that. <laughs> <laughs> and the coach is like, they're like, "Nice catch, Marty." That's a such oh, yeah, that was. That, yeah. <laughs> Or when that guy gets concussed, he's like, "Can he play?" <laughs> <laughs> Um, I was hoping someone I mean, would get hurt, and then they're like, they show like the over dramatic, like he pulled, he twisted his ankle. It's like, it's like, bro, a that's grade... that meme about Dachi. I'm telling you, but it's like a grade, it's, the... like, it's a grade one sprain. He's in a fucking soft air cast as they're fucking. Wheeling around. <laughs> it shows yeah. like it, it does like the Mortal Kombat X ray, but it's just like <laughs> it's just like he like pops a finger out of socket and it goes back in. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> um, now I. So, so the the only sports anime I've watched is uh, Baki. So, I mean, it's totally different, right? Oh yeah, isn't Baki just like? I don't fighting? think I've ever seen it. It's, yeah, I mean, Baki. It's, it's not, Baki's like mixed Ma- martial arts, but that's like yeah, that's like gratuitous <laughs> fighting, dude. That's completely different. Hey, it's a sport, okay? Martial arts is a sport. It, okay, I'm you sorry, can... Captain Taekwondo. All right, my God. bad, bro. <laughs> if oh, there's shit. rules, it's a sport. I don't want to okay. talk to the purple belt oh. like that. My fault, <laughs> big talk. He recommended life, Recommend. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah. Oh. Who here wants to see Brad do a kick? <laughs> I want to see him break a board. I He's like, oh, God, no. I, I don't have any boards on me right now, unfortunately. Damn. Imagine not being prepared. It's kind of crazy. I know. Sorry. Wouldn't I? <laughs> like, I'm, glad you, I'm glad you asked. He, like, hangs his shit down the sink, starts doing a whole thing. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> Got a few medals, but you know it's. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah. Yo, bring them out! Bring them out! Oh my gosh! Actually, I think they're in my closet right here. Actually, yeah. Um, I can say no. No, that's. I've yeah, never I mean, really seen really... tall Taekwondo fight, but <laughs> fighters fight. <laughs> Most people I know who took Taekwondo who were black belts are like short. The only yeah, the only the only match I ever lost was was or I, I say match I lost the the only sparring like the only tournament I went to and lost was against a dude that was like seven inches taller than me. Damn, I just like... could not get dude, close to him. Man had reach. He's like, just stay there. Yeah, he just <laughs> asked. It was a David and Goliath. And I was six foot. And he was had to at least been six five, if not taller. Good God. I got my butt whooped. <laughs> Man's mostly legs. He's like, come on over. <laughs> it's like, I can't, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping you out of foot's length. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think of really anything else. I, I don't see any more logic breaks. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about like Japan itself, so like I can't really like it's I can't it's like just, argue like high school experience or you know I, uh, I don't know what it's like. Like so. I said, club stuff, man, is is super. It's like a big thing. Like it was kind of weird mm-hmm. going from high school in Japan, where like at, at Yokosuka we actually did have a bunch of club activities and stuff like that, to coming That's back right. here and it wasn't like that. Mm-hmm. 
like oh, we, we yeah. really tried to emulate like a bunch of stuff from like japanese so there's like a bunch of like new clubs that we had all these different organizations and then i get back here and everyone's like we don't do that shit bro i'm like all right <laughs> you're like cool we're just gonna play basketball <laughs> like let me shoot the rock that was essentially all it was but chibi let's let me ask the question like so mm -hmm. what it's been a long time that we like me and chibi have talked about this she's always wanted to recommend this anime what were your expectations from us? Like, what were you expecting how, how we would Literally this. this. <laughs> I was low-key expecting a little bit more roast and pushback. So, you know, I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. I'm, I'm glad. You, we can't you know... roast you. Like, we have no, Brad. I'm okay. <laughs> no, okay. No, but I'm just, <laughs> like, personally, like, truly, like, this anime oh, means a lot to for. me. Because, mm -hmm. like I said, I just, I really resonate with it. And I really enjoy the character building. I, I think it's because I know how it ends. And I think if you follow the journey, you you are really satisfied at the end. I really do think that's what you've it said is. that about another anime. Was it was it Black Clover? <laughs> I can't remember. No, I've which... never. I've no. I, Haikyuu was the only one that I've like truly through and through. No, like, Naruto. It's... Didn't you say that to me about Naruto too? Like you were really like hooked on that because like you liked the journey of like him being an underdog. Oh and... yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean that's the, it. Was, it's those two. I mean, same thing with Hunter Hunter. Like I enjoy a good journey and underdog story, and I I think that's like my forte. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's especially with Haikyuu, I think the way it ends because they're still animating it. Like I know it's coming to an end soon, but the manga itself like took a direction I did not think it would. You know, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna spoil it. Um, We're not spoiling it. But... Let's spoil it. Do you want me to? I can. I can literally. We put just a warning yeah, out here. Yeah, an ace. I will. I will spoil it. <laughs> I'll put a spoiler warning. Up. Okay. If anybody does not want to know, skip to wherever Ken tells you. So I it, it mean, they graduate. It's... I'm not doing that. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> they graduate school. Oh shit. Yeah, we just I get so never many fucking, fucking known. down votes for spoiling this shit. Well, Chibi, you're um, gonna have to like promote the promote this too on your. On your Discord, like I asked you to. Let's... Oh, I'm fucking sorry. I go home at like you. Know, uh, all right, go ahead. Go, go, go Okay, go. so I mean, essentially, like you know, you you watch the whole progression of you know the this whole team becoming an actual team, like because they haven't had like a solid group of individuals in a long time since like Hinata watched the Little Giant, you know, however many years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you just really start to see like, especially like Hinata become such a unit more so than he was like. You know, Brad was just like, oh, he can just jump. Well, he actually is able to become such a good player um, that can control Powerful. his actual movements, whatever, any hoosies. Um, But it, it comes to the final, like their senior, or I think not like the, the senior year for the third years, um, like the last, like, you know, it's the last battle or whatever for them to go to mm -hmm. the championships Um, and they lose. And it's such like a physical like, I, like I, I think i called down. that too i just said that i said like it's gonna yeah. ha it's gonna have those things where like they either make it to the end and get a win or like most sports like movies or stories they lose yeah and so they end up losing and i can't remember i think they might go to the championship either they win or they lose i can't remember and like you know he not to second or third year but essentially it, it it skips all of that like you go from them losing and it just gives you a brief summary of like what happened and then you go to like he not to them graduating and them going their separate ways he not to ends up going to brazil right. and he like you know on a solo journey to like try and become even better um but you know it, it's just really cool because you see like him try to adapt and live in brazil and he starts doing outdoor volleyball like beach volleyball to where like he really learns to to jump you know it's not just like indoor okay. you know volleyball you, it's sand so he learns is... jump so he just starts like, no, he, like, flying he, off no, he, he basically gets a lot better <laughs> because think about how much power you have to put into propelling yourself through the so, fucking sand so, so we're talking about his his control gets better and stuff like that yeah i mean and like you know What's the ultimate goal, though? Like, what ultimately happens? Here we go. So, the we skip all shot. this. Sorry, I, I get really excited about this party, asshole. Uh, so <laughs> Me or Brad? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm asking you what happens. You're like, all right, speed up, Shimmy. Speed up. Right. I didn't say anyway, that. Anyway, during this time he's training, everybody else, for the most part, goes on the national team of like Japan, like the different mm -hmm. like big teams that they have and everybody split up. Everybody goes to different teams. They actually start like intermingling, which is really interesting to see. You're like, you're like, oh shit, I never thought so-and-so would be on the same team as so-and-so, you know what I mean? And then finally Hinata comes back and everyone's like, oh shit. 
and he actually goes against um Kagiyama. Mm-hmm. Like they're on separate teams. So seeing them go against each other was like so satisfying and like that rivalry fully comes like, you know, full circle. So satisfied. Spoiler over. We'll just Spoiler put that right over. there. Bang. Barely. Bang. All right. So how how's that one feel about that? Brad? <laughs> <laughs> like man, I gave you a really shitty version. I'm just saying, like no, it means a lot when you go to oh, <laughs> you. spoilers are back up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, we lied. And neither one of them win. It ends in a draw. Dude, does it end a... <laughs> it better not. Fuck it's up. There better be a winner. Does it actually does it actually have an ending ending? Or does it no, like... no, the in, the ending is where they go they both try to spike the ball at the same time. Oh, one like blocks it. What spikes it do? We get the final freeze frame and we're like <laughs> like the high Q was the friends we made along the way. Yeah. That's what it is, bro. This was That's truly our is. volleyball. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna lie. I don't remember. <laughs> I fucking swear. <laughs> You You're take us all this way. You take us on this weird journey about why you're <laughs> fixated on teenage volleyball. <laughs> I can't spoil it. We're out of the spoiler zone. It's, it's so. true. It's true. I, I haven't heard from Jack in a while. Jack, how do you feel about that? <laughs> how do I feel about that? Mostly I've just, had, I've just mostly anything. had it's like, yeah, anime face the entire time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Jack's face told I mean, me everything I needed to know. It sounds typical. <laughs> it no, it yeah, does. It, it sound there are it, movies it and TV sounds shows. Typical. Do that, yeah. I mean, that's that's just exactly how I expect it to end. Y'all are haters. That that's not um, hating. No, I mean, that's I'm just, not hating. no, I'm fucking that's with you. I'm fucking with you. That's just a typical plot. It's, I it, didn't think it would end like that. You didn't think they'd wait, face wait, each oh, other? Hold on. What did you What did you expect? I didn't think there would be like a big time skip like that. I truly thought it would stay in high school. Okay, we're spoiling again. I truly thought it would stay in high school. Like it would just okay second or like you know. Season six, they're you know second years. Can they finally do the? You know, it, I don't. But think, I get they I didn't mean, do it because it would have like, been repetitive. Yeah, well, I feel I mean, like there was foreshadowing when, when uh, Hinata after that very first match with his fake team against Kageyama's team, that at the end of the match he ran up to him and he said, "One day I'm gonna beat you." Yeah, man, that's giving me. And he cool. cup checks him and runs away. Dude, <laughs> this this see that's what I'm saying. Jack has watched sports movies before where like eventually the rivals become buddies and then they'll eventually face each other in a really respectful way. See, I, I don't watch rivals. a lot of that. Yeah. That it's 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 literally one of the most it's well typical. known it's actually one of the most well known sports tropes. It happens a lot. No, it's, it's really, really weird. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean Rocky, right? Like like Apollo Creed and Rocky fight, right? Apollo beats him and then they become best friends in Rocky too. They have like a rematch right. and stuff like that. Oh yeah, it happens all the time. And, and it's I not that I, it's shout not out to Buckets of S. Shalom for writing I'm that like you. you know when he was poor. It, it's it's because it's, like yeah. it's 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 that underdog story that everybody wants to see the underdog win. So mm-hmm. eventually in the end, that's something they want to happen because yeah. people want that yeah. to happen. No, that's fair. They had Rocky I guess lose. It's because I- it was sad. <laughs> I guess it's because like I don't watch a lot of like sports stuff like that, so I'm not used to that trope. So I don't know. It was just really cool to see them like kind of grown up. There's there's always something compelling it. about like the human element to things, right? Like the like mm-hmm. seeing how you know when you get knocked down, do you get back up? Like how yeah. hard do you fight that type yeah. of stuff? And then because it's easy to connect with because everyone has those moments in their life. So yeah. when you're seeing something that you can connect with, like you're obviously going to like want you know to watch yeah. it. Yeah and enjoy yeah. it. i mean that's what if you're in high school playing sports right and then you have an anime that kind of mirrors what you're going through in terms of like the sports stuff like the struggles with it like of course you're going to connect with it you're going to feel good about it yeah you know? I'd, I'd be interested in knowing that you know in the end if after that last match between the two um hanada wins if kageyama still has that saltiness to him or mm-hmm. if he actually if becomes humbled well i mean mm-hmm. if you like what even the first 12 episodes you see like kageyama become very like more he open as a person a you know yeah. What I'm yeah he does mm-hmm. mellow out so i'm assuming he does like i i think like like i said it's well written it's all well done but it's nothing yeah. that i think anyone who's watched sports films tv shows or anything like that would be surprised they, by. they would be surprised by right but like as yeah. long as it's well done i think like it being about volleyball i don't think i've seen a show about volleyball before like, i've seen like football movies you know tv series uh same thing with baseball rocky obviously boxing that type of stuff yeah i think volleyball yeah you can literally tell you you cheerleading which one which movie 
What, <laughs> what, what's what's bring the Kirsten? It on? Yeah, bring it on. <laughs> what's Kirsten Dunstan? One or two. Dude, or Gabe, two. dude I'm uh, telling you, Gabrielle know. Union back in the day, that was like one of my biggest crushes, dude. Yeah. She was so she was so fucking fine in that movie. <laughs> but um no, yeah. I mean that's essentially like how it works, like too, in like all these these films. It's always interesting. Like they're they're rivals, they hate each other, they just do it in like shorter formats. And with sports, it, oh, it, like you're you're hundred percent correct when you say that, Chibi. It can only go mm-hmm. on for so long because either you're gonna get it or you don't. Like sometimes, like like sports movies can get a little bit too dramatic where they're like have the time skip, but someone dies. <laughs> it's like I only came back because so and so was hit in a car accident. It's like what the fuck? <laughs> like what did what did oh boy just get killed? Like <laughs> there's a there's a Keanu Reeves movie. Oh my god, where he's like a coach of a little league team and like I think it's like Southside Chicago. So and it's like. It's so sad because like one of the little kids gets shot and killed, and I was like, "Why did I watch oh, this yeah. movie, bro?" <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck, man? Yeah, why did they do this to me?" Um, but no, like, like I think Haiku was is well done. I mean, the animation also surprisingly really, really good. And I've always noticed that too, like with like um, with sports anime is like it's usually like the stuff that's outside of it is never really animated well, right? It's always like kind of you know it's just okay. Once you start getting into like them playing the sport you're like why the fuck does this go so hard like what are you doing like you're seeing fucking like hanada like just jump straight up you're like holy shit the kids got like really dude really quick the, speed yeah the manga panels go crazy too but it's like, always funny when you see like once again they do the inner mm-hmm. thoughts thing like how did you get up there it's like he yeah. jumped bitch like what are you doing? <laughs> he got the hops bro or the co- what did the coach say brad he's like he's good <laughs> I, don't, I don't like the drawing of of kageyama like i don't know like he has like an inverted chin like his jaw it, I, he's I, got the jaw he's got the yeah the, i i need to watch line. i need to look at the manga because i didn't like really review like how the because you know when they do anime like it i, I don't know if you guys have seen like kaiju number eight's like manga like it's it's panels compared to or it's I character design have, yeah. compared to the anime stuff People do not fucking like the way the anime adaptation is drawn. Mm. They really don't. Like, they, it looks awkward. I have to, like, check out how high key was. Because I, I think it's pretty accurate, right, Chibi? I think like, it's accurate, yeah. I always appreciate that, by the way, when, like, they try to make it as, like, one for one. Instead of, like, making, like, weird, like, exaggerations on the face or the eyes. And it's like, mm-hmm. that's not that character. I can't relate to that person. Because, you know, most people are, mon- you know, manga readers are, like fuck am i doing here like i love that too but they just kind of give up on something because it doesn't look the same this is bullshit mm-hmm. it's like there's gonna be the same show nah wrong yeah it's the same quality <laughs> that's like, not my okay. kageyama <laughs> i don't know him fuck haikyuu bro <laughs> it's like wait dude it's just yeah. a... <laughs> it's like hold on um okay so chibi like for you where does this rank for your top anime like give me your um give me your top five i'm gonna put you on the spot yeah you know? It's hard because it fluctuates a lot. I mean, if we're talking about like current, dude, it's hard. There's been a lot of new gens that have kind of fucked me up, you know, like Spy Family and shit. Um, Apothecary Diaries. <laughs> Why did you say it like that? That was so weird. It kind of fucking got to me as I got older. I realized volleyball, maybe not that, maybe not the play here. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm talking about like it, it's you know it's push back fruits baskets and shit oh. and like what so nothing, I, mean, I know there's something weird about me and haikyuu and i don't think i'll ever get over it like, i mean so here, here's the real question is this in jack's top 40 <laughs> i don't think i've seen 30 <laughs> is it in your so top, 30? top 30 boy <laughs> you imagine this is like 31 he's like, <laughs> he's like that one anime with the titties i'm like that one's <laughs> <laughs> firmly ahead bro we watched one episode of that we saw the, the yeah. vending machine one bro that one's also <laughs> ahead of it <laughs> right oh i love a, I, I love a good underdog story can i get some <laughs> soup out of this vending machine <laughs> would, would, it, would it make my top 10 no <laughs> that's fair you know eventually top when you get my top 10 i mean one, one of my favorite things about doing this podcast is getting jack more active in anime and also yeah. brad brad has become kind of a fucking weirdo <laughs> he, <laughs> he watches a bunch of stuff and it's like very surprising when he tells me about it i'm like i like when it's on he's, netflix he's, yeah every time he's watching he's probably got this pin board behind him he's like oh, he's, no, no. <laughs> and all the illogical things that are well, happening at 1.5 like speed Charlie Day on Day meme, netflix, bro. So. yeah yeah one of the one of the things that brad does though jack that you should do is actually watch the fucking anime instead of just <laughs> reading a title and saying that's gonna be good for us <laughs> 
this title's long. It'll be funny. It's like, it wasn't. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> the whole goal is to watch something I haven't watched before. So why would I Great. watch it before telling y'all to watch it? Right. Because... <laughs> You should like do at least watch the first episode, then get back to us. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's like, fair. I can do that because that that'll prevent you from watching one of the most you know debaucherous perverted anime I've ever seen, and, and you'd be you like, "Can I get a right? mulligan?" <laughs> like we gave you a mulligan last time, motherfucker. He's like, "Let me get another." <laughs> Is it my turn to pick? No, I think it's it's my turn. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, okay. You okay. sit the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> Is it my turn? You sit down. Um, so I mean, it's good to know that she that like you still, you know, looking back, did you rewatch it at, at all, or are you just like this is all coming to memory? Mm-hmm. So you rewatched it. No. So this is still like, you know, it still resonates with you still, yeah. even mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, even older. I, I, was, I was gonna say even in our advanced age, but you're even like, in my advanced age, you're, you're younger you know, than all of us. Age ourselves out here. So, I mean, that's good. I, I was wondering, like, you know, because there, there's probably some anime that, like, some of us haven't watched in, like, a long time, like me. Yeah. Like, you know, and I'll go back and, like, when I I had to rewatch Samurai Champloo, but I was like, I wonder if this is still good. And it turns out it's still fucking great because the director, Shinichiro Watanabe, he made Cowboy Bebop. Mm-hmm. Almost, he's not made a bad anime, like, at all. Yeah. I was going to say, I love um, that one. It's so good. Yeah. I was, I was, Samurai Champloo is, like, music. Yeah. Oh, dude, he, everything he does has, like, amazing yeah. music in it. Yeah, it's so yeah. fucking good. What's well, good? I was I was curious. I was I was yeah. wondering like you know because no, it... I mean that's fair because it's like I, I you know cause, yeah like you said sometimes going back like you know y- your viewpoint changes and things like your humor changes. Now nah, I fucking laughed like I was I was cackling when I was rewatching it. I was like, damn, this shit's good. That's good. Like I was I was kind of like the banter. Yeah, I I always get curious when like you know you return to something after so many years like you you hold it in such high regard like but you've never really watched it again. Yeah. It happens a lot, you know, like we're like mm-hmm. our nostalgia. We're just like yeah, relying just, on too much. I was going to say there, there's a word for that where like you just you live in like the, the past essentially mm-hmm. where you just yeah, like your nostalgia takes over and you're like, but then sometimes when you go back, you're like, oh, it's not as good as I thought it was. So. Oh, that's how I feel when I go back to Ren and Stimpy. Yeah, it's there's yeah. a word for that, though. <laughs> like, like you romanticize it almost. Yeah, in your head. it is essentially like that. Like, you do romanticize like certain things and then you go back. You're like, man, maybe fuck was wrong maybe i was wrong (laughs) yeah Yeah. never uh you know brad have you ever had that moment like have you ever like romanticized something that went back and we're like you know what it's not it's not as good there's gotta be a final fantasy game you've played and you're like dude this game was not as good perfect perfect uh 2020 (laughs) just hindsight Uh you know everything's just fight buddy he fucking nails it baby boy (laughs) you know (laughs) brad war eagle (laughs) there's no logic in that comment (laughs) Brad to Final Fantasy is these bitches to volleyball. You cannot tell me wrong. Brad's like, hmm, maybe Good I do understand. Lord. Okay. <laughs> Look at him, he's thinking. I mean, it's a, oh, yeah. it's a, it's Sorry, a curious, you know, comp, like you know, thing to think about, right? Because I've, we try, we tried to do a thing where like I played a game to like I perfected it, like Elden Ring. I have the platinum trophy for it, and I think like my opinion on the game actually changed when I was trying to go for the platinum. Where I was like, you know what? If the, if this had cut, if I only played like seventy percent of the game, like with like some of the optional side bosses and stuff, I would love the game, hold it high regard, eleven out of ten. But when I started to like go through like the entire map and stuff, and I was like, holy shit, there are some real flaws with this game, and it dropped it by like two points for me. Mm. So it's kind of a weird That's thing going two back. Two points higher than it should have been in the oh, first shit. place. So. Well, I want to do a seamless <laughs> co op run with uh, with Jack. To kind of get him through. Spoilers. I was spoilers. Another spoiler banner right there. There's no spoiler there, buddy. <laughs> we're <laughs> we're trying to get to the first spoiler part. for the Jack, channel. It's Jack's first Souls game, too, essentially. Cool. So, I still haven't gotten I mean, to the played, first boss. I played Elden Ring once. Yeah, that, that was that's what I'm saying. It's your it's your first really played. real Souls yeah. experience. But like my my goal essentially, Jack, is to like get you to a point where we play it, we beat a couple bosses, and then we go. Do you want to continue? You know, you know. Okay. Because one of the biggest draws of like these types of games, the hardcore games, is you beat it, you struggle through it, and then you have like these like big wins against bosses that were initially felt like impossible at first, right? So it's a lot of fun doing right. that. And it's also really fun with friends. Um Bradwood doesn't know about that because he doesn't play you know games with anyone. He just sits there and so would this to be work sad. where the same way where I call you in? 
No, no, no. We're it's like seamless co-op. Like we're starting together in the same area. Ah, I can go. Okay. Apparently, this mod allows me to go wherever I want. I can travel, okay. like grab, grab grab stuff where I know it's going to be. That type of stuff. So it's really cool. Okay. But um, yeah. I mean, I was just kind of curious about whether or not Chibi held the anime in high regard because I mean, you know, you get older and you're probably like, eh, it's not. It's not what I thought it was. You know, it's got the red and no, stimpy I'm still, effect. I'm, no, I'm still fucking with it. Good. <laughs> Okay. All right. On a on a lighter <clears throat> note, who's everyone's favorite character? And tell me why Tsuki is the worst character. Who? <laughs> I'll remember these characters, bro. All right. Anyway, who's y'all's favorite character? Uh, probably probably no, Tsuki. Is Tsuki the one that they fall in love with all the time? No, no, no. Tsukiyama. He's like the tall one with the glasses, the blonde uh, hair uh, one. He's an Tsuki. asshole. Oh, the best one. Yeah. Yeah, Brad, probably Brad. The Brad. Like That's who that is. <laughs> no, I, 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 like, Brad. I like the captain. Daichi. So, I think he's cool. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty vanilla of you. I don't know. I can't connect with most of these characters, <laughs> Shiri. <laughs> I, like the, I like the coach. I like, yeah, the uh, coach. Yeah. The, okay. He's just like, he's like, hey, I'm learning it with you guys. Let's have Wait, fun. did they? I don't remember. Did they explain why he became the coach? Like why they chose him? Because the other coach died or whatever. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just making shit up now. <laughs> I, I don't remember if they did Didn't it. They like, coaches like three or four times. <laughs> Brad, I love that. He ended up dying. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason they picked him was because the the old coach. Ooh, it was the his grandpa like during okay. their yeah. heightened okay. era okay. of like when they were peak with the little giant that was his grandpa was the coach so his grandpa actually raised him to play volleyball and stuff so he actually is qualified he's not just like a convenience store guy that they just decided no, no, i mean it's okay. obviously the guy has talent yeah. like you can you can tell no that's what i'm saying though like he comes from like the grandfather who was like, like it's nep it's nepotism is the problem you know what i mean <laughs> basically we, we couldn't find better cans <laughs> we just went, so we're, we we're went back into the well yeah. volleyball is in your blood what the fuck does that mean dude <laughs> get on the fuck is, is this why i'm a convenience store clerk because i chose yeah. volleyball as a life path <laughs> no but i love him though he, he's good he's good i don't know i don't know if i can say i had a favorite character i liked uh tanaka's uh energy Oh yeah, dude. Tanaka's fucking. Jack hilarious. was just crazy. Jack was He's mostly watching crazy. the show and being like, "Man, yeah, anime, bro. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you hit that. Yeah, He's like, yeah. He's like, you fucking hit that ball, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I I think Tanaka is one of my favorites. Uh, with Hinata, I think both of them just have such crackhead energy. I think that's like yeah. my favorite type of people. That's why I love Chica from Love Is War. You know, Anya, crackhead gremlin energy you cannot beat. <laughs> Anya's fucking one. She's so <laughs> My girl Anya. She's so Wait, side note. Have you guys seen the Spy Family movie? I don't, uh -uh. I don't think they've watched Spy Family. Nope, I haven't. Is that, is that like I'm, the sequel to Spy Kids? No. Chibi, I think I'm the only one who's watched it and read it. <laughs> I didn't get to watch right, the movie. So we, I don't. So, so we know you should take your daughter to see it. I'm serious. It's it's amazing. So my next suggestion is going to be Spy Family. I am so disappointed. If I would have known this, I would have done it sooner. Yeah, I'm going to make everyone yeah. super sad with my pick. I told Brad what oh, we're going to watch next. I'm darker than black. No, fuck no. no. Oh, are I, you saying it's emo? No, it's so um. So it's going to be weird, bro. <laughs> it's going to be weird. Oh, it's the weird. Elusive, it's the elusive samurai. So it is historical oh. fiction. And I'm going to warn everyone going in, do not be fooled with how the anime like starts or perceives itself in the first like 15 minutes. Because when I like tell you those. it gets fucking tragic, it gets tragic. It is historical mm. fiction. It is based off real characters. It's just mm. like a, a kind of if a... you make me cry, I'm never coming back. I don't think you're going to cry. Is there animals anime. that get hurt? Yeah. Let's just not, say I not like twice not in this killed, anime, not so. killed, um, but they do get hurt. It's historical fiction. I don't, I don't like hurt. Um, watching it was so like I remember because I've read some of the manga, and I was like, I don't know how this is going to translate because it's going to feel a lot like kind of tonally. It, the sh the tonal shifts um, are shifty. It, no, it's it's it can be pretty like extreme at times. The way it goes mm. like back and forth, and there's what is be, that on? It's on Crunchyroll. It's called The Elusive Samurai. Mm. 
it's it looks uh, like uh it's quite possible like i remember i watched it and went this is going to fucking like hurt people when they watch it because there's so here's the thing i'll like you guys don't have to watch the full it's only i think it's like four well, or five only episodes, four episodes yeah. right now but i want you to watch it because i want to get your because you know usually we have done previews in the past for spring's biggest anime or whatever anime or, or winter stuff and i want to do this one God so. damn it, i gotta do more reading mm-hmm. brother uh it'll be okay it'll be okay it's only four episodes you know i looks, can't multitask he looks like <laughs> you looks don't like, multitask <laughs> you'll let like my, a, let my boy cook uh brave uh brave fencer musashi. musashi yeah so just you know like i said like you're probably going to be like confused at first by the tonal shifts and stuff but it is based off like historical fiction and uh reading the manga like i i don't know how they're going to adapt certain scenes because i'm like that's fucking really dark um but it's fan but i i really enjoy it surprisingly because i usually hate anime that do that where it's like the tone just kind of goes all over the place but this one i was like you know what it kind of makes sense like the yeah there's a reason why like they act that way so that's pretty big so we're gonna have elusive samurai and then eventually spy family so then it's like it's for me then it's is it jack or brad after me who is it does anyone remember I think it's not me. not jack not jack, not jack. <laughs> wow well, let's hold a vote right now. Should Jack I've been banned. I've been banned <laughs> should, should Jack get an get a chance to choose an anime? No, I'm always on hey. Team Jack, so His I redemption arc starts overruled. Now. Y'all, y'all in the comments better favor me. I do I listen? I I think um I think you deserve a you know a fifteenth shot or something, whatever. <laughs> So I mean, His what third what redemption? Do you, what are you What are you gonna now. make us watch, Jack? Do you have like an anime in mind? Because I know Brad has stuff already. Like he's had a list. Yeah, I don't know. I was looking at Helsing. <laughs> um, but I need to go back and look. I was looking at that fight one too that I mentioned a while back. Which but one? I don't know if I want to hold on. Let me pull up my watch list. I was looking at. Aaliyah sometimes hides her feelings in Russian. I like Windbreaker. I oh yeah, Windbreaker. It. Okay, yeah, we can do that one. That one. Yeah, Windbreaker was one. Mm-hmm. I was I was looking at some that you guys mentioned, New Gate and Tower of God. Oh yeah, Tower of God season two is an ongoing right now. Um, if this wasn't in, I think it's in Chinese. It's a Bureau of Paranormal Investigation. Mm, I don't think I've seen that. Is that on Crunchyroll? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we'll do Elusive Samurai, then we'll have Jack's choice, and then Brad. Brad, what'd you want to do? I can't remember. I don't know, actually. You I've had got like a, a list. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've got, I've got several. We, we might have to break Dra- up the uh, the dark original Dragon Ball. Original. <laughs> Jesus, we might have to break up the uh, the dark stuff to, to kind of get the light stuff. That'd be great. All right, so yeah. yeah, you got it, or are you just gonna think about it? Oh no, both. We'll get there. Um, next pixelated thoughts is going to be Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie. Uh. I'm assuming Jack Ray watched it, but um, yep. yeah. So I'm I'm actually kind of curious to see how everyone feels about that because the Mario movie was good. I like the Mario one. Like I think like adaptation. Once again, video game adaptations are getting better. You know, there's been a little bit of consistency, except for Halo, which was just canceled. So you know, if you like that show, I'm you know sorry. I guess <laughs> you like that shit. And then um. Yeah, pixelated thoughts, like fucking uh, videos. Like, we're, I'm going to try to get everyone more involved with like mods and stuff like that. I'm still waiting on uh, the Star Wars Battlefront stuff. <laughs> you know, we'll get to that eventually with Jack and Chibi. Um, Sorry, we're late. I but... believe, I believe in, <laughs> right. in everyone. But uh, I also want to do... I was going to ask Chris to do this with me, but Jack, but Brad, I may make you do it. It'll be fun. It'll be... It's it's Resident... I don't know. Have you played Resident Evil 5, VR? Brad? No, right? 5, yeah. You played five? Okay. So there's mm-hmm. a mod called Project Brutality. <laughs> and it's a black and white challenge mod. And we'll just see how far we get in it. That would be a fun video to make. I'm 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 the white. <laughs> yes, you are. You are <laughs> yeah, white. Yeah. You are. You are. God damn it. Okay, so Chibi said this would be a twenty minute show. We ended up going. 55 minutes so look at that's pretty good 
And so, then he walks away. All right, let's talk shit about him. Shit, right. shit, shit. Uh, so, uh, so we're not going to end this until Jack brings the cats. So, Jack, go and get the cats right Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Go get the cats. Cat tax. Go get the cats. Okay, okay. Cat, I'll go, I'll go cat. get the cat. Go get the cats. What is. What is. Bra oh, Brad's getting his medal so he can talk shit about his trophy. Wow. Look at his trophy. Hey. Yeah, that doesn't have any medal. That's a whole goddamn trophy. He got that for participation. <laughs> can this we. my junior. You know what? Junior. Yeah, let's the get Georgia Junior Olympics. Let's get a little let's get a little background in this because for those who don't know or those who are just, you know, watching, uh Brad is a former or practitioner of Taekwondo mm -hmm. and uh he's or, won a couple tournaments yeah. or one yeah, yeah, they were they were they were minor tournaments. They were nothing. I I so I participated in the Junior Olympics, the jun the Georgia Junior Olympics and that was the tournament that I lost. But all the other ones were just regional tournaments i probably mm. won seven matches in five tournaments four tournaments right um i mean i got a bunch of other like medals and and trophies for like board breaking and forms and weapons and all that jazz it was it was a multi-discipline type thing but yeah i did taekwondo from it's it's literally the, like the last thing i would 20. i would expect from you i just want you to know that Three the kitties there we Pretty got cats fun. My Did entire teen years were nothing but Taekwondo. Kidding. So, uh, what are their names again, Jack? Um, Zephyr and Calypso. Calypso Zephyr and Calypso. Zephyr. All right, cool. That, yeah, it's that sounds like something you would name oh, your cats. <laughs> Shut up! You can't man. hear me, so oh, you can't. <laughs> you can't hear me. That's I right. Hear you. I know. <laughs> so, I'm gonna ask Chibi to create the thumbnail for this one. Is that okay, Chibi? Uh, would you yeah. be able to in your time? All right, perfect. Yeah. Let's see. It's a collaborative experience here. Oh my god! <laughs> Epic, thoughts. And we have Jack's cat. So Jack, let's uh, anyone. So before we start, you know, any closing thoughts from anybody? Let's start with Brad. Absolutely Brad. not. Okay, Chibi. Um, appreciate you guys trying the anime out. It means a lot to me that all of us were able to get through twelve episodes. Brad, thirteen. Thank you for putting in the extra episode. Appreciate you, big dog. It just um, ended on a weird note, so I had to finish that match at least. I, you know, I hope in my heart that you uh, secretly continue to watch it. And once it's completely animated, I hope you were like, "Damn, ship, you were right. Uh, this really was the One Piece." That's that's my thoughts. Thank you. Okay, we're enough of that. All right. <laughs> Yeah, Bean, tell him. All right. Nah, Bean loves me. Bean's the homie. Jack. Oh, I was going to say, Jack, bring them cats back up so you can do the outro. Do the outro? Yeah. Get, uh, they're gone. <laughs> yeah, they're gone. They're gone. Do the outro oh, anyway. My... <laughs> well, this has been another episode of Down the Rabbit Hole. Thanks for joining. From Chibi, Ken, Brad, and myself, Jacqueline. Until next time, y'all have a nice evening. Bye, everybody.